Welcome back everyone. So I'm just at a little creek here. A bit of noise. Sunset is only about five minutes away. My original plan for sunset has failed so I just found this very nice area. It's a little creek. There's reflections here. It's very nice. All the mangroves are just coming into the center of the creek here. So you can see how the camera is just angling down. I'm using my D500, the Tequina 11 to 20 mils. And we're going to shoot some HDR photography today, some high dynamic range. This is the only way to capture this scene. I took a couple of photos in HDR format. Now the sun has just gone over the mangroves here. It's 5.30 right on sunset. I had to rush. I quickly took a set of HDR photos, but now I will go through and show you how I captured these images. You can see my camera's angling down. The reason for that is we're on an old bridge, so I didn't want to go any wider than this or else I'd see the bridge. There's a big branch just leaning towards me here, but on the photo I'm going to see much wider than this. Why am I shooting in HDR here? Well, look at the, where the light is coming from here. It is just so bright in the sky. But down the foreground here, down in the creek, it is quite dark. There is no way I could get an even exposure. Even with my D500, the dynamic range is just way too much. So instead of struggling, instead of shooting way underexposed and then lifting out the shadows, I find it's better to shoot in HDR format. So in bracketed, we take a bracketed set. Now on my D500, I can have a set of three, five, seven, or nine. Don't be afraid to shoot more bracketed, especially when there is no wind around. You know that nothing is going to be moving. The reason I like shooting at 0.7 or 1 instead of 1.5 or 2 is that there's only a very slight difference in EVs between the shots. So it's like very small steps instead of having big steps. So when you go to merge these photos, they will merge much better. Today, how am I set up in my camera? Like I said, I'm shooting with my D500, the Tequina 11 to 20, and I'm shooting all the way out at 11 mils. My f-stop is f11. I'm shooting in manual mode. I don't like shooting aperture priority at this time of the day. Light changes, so it's much easier for me to shoot in manual mode. I've set my white balance to cloudy because I just want a bit of extra warmth in here. I have a two second timer on here. The two second timer, all that means is that the first shot has a two second timer delay. Then it's just bang, 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 bang. White balance is set. My ISO is set at ISO 125. There's still quite a lot of light around here. Cameras on the tripod, there is no need to have my ISO any higher than that. So now that my whole camera is set up, I can take one exposure to get an idea of what my base exposure is going to be because when you shoot HDR I shoot under and over. The middle image is the correct exposure so it's best to shoot that way so you know when you're bracketing your images you know that the first image is the darkest, the underexposed, your last image will be the overexposed. My first test shot was at one fifth of a second so the first set was a three set of bracketed. It was one EV under, correct? and then one EV over. Then I pressed and I set it to five exposures. The first shot was two EVs underexposed, one EV underexposed, correct, one EV overexposed, and then two EVs overexposed. Now I know some people say that they don't like HDR. I've been shooting HDR for toy for a long time. On my D80, I found that this was the only way sometimes that I could get a correctly exposed image. HDR doesn't have to be grungy. Some people just push it too far. And you'll see in the edited photos at the end of this video here that they don't have to be pushed too much. All you're trying to do when you're bracketing a set of images like this is to get a correctly exposed image. You're trying to blend the highlights to your shadows to end up with a correctly exposed image. Now I use Photomatix Pro because I found that even though Lightroom has a HDR plugin that Photomatix Pro gives me better results consistently and that's what I want. I want consistent see. Sometimes Lightroom does a good job, sometimes it doesn't. So I just prefer to open up Photomatix Pro, do all my editing in Photomatix Pro, blend the image, then bring it back into Lightroom and then just finish up the image. 
So when I edited all these images, the single exposure, the HDR with the three sets of images, the five set of images, I edited them all the same way. The white balance was the same. I put the same amount of dehaze. All the settings were the same in Lightroom because I want to show you what the final image looks like when they're edited. So here is the JPEG version of the single exposure taken at one fifth of a second. This is the raw file edited but before I kept going and edited the bracketed sets what I could see here was this branch here on the left it really looked out of place compared to the rest of the images it detracted from the rest so I did to crop this image so that all my images would be the same and this is how I cropped it you can see it's not a 6x4 it's not an 8x10 it's just the way that I feel that this image would look good taking all the rest of it away this is what I am left with it looks really really nice. Here is the first set of images which is the three image bracketed. It was one tenth, one fifth and then 0.4 of a second. I edited in Adobe Lightroom first then exported them through the Photomatix plugin to Photomatix Pro, blended it into a HDR and then re-imported it into Adobe Lightroom and it was cropped exactly the same as the single image. This is the five set images. The five images were one twentieth of a second, one tenth of a second, one fifth, 0 0.4 seconds, and then 0 0.8 seconds. And as you can see, there is not much difference between the five set and the three set images. This is just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you can actually see a big difference. Sometimes you can't see too much difference. Now remember, I did state that I edited all of these images exactly the same way. I didn't want to favor the three set or the five set or the single exposure. All the editing was done exactly the same. And if we go back to the original image, the single exposure, you can see all it is is just the sky is just way overblown. There's a lot of shadows in the foreground and there's not a lot of color there. But when you've blended it into a HDR, look at it it is just so much better and now when we compare the single exposure to the three set hdr and the five set hdr you can see why i stated that shooting in this location my only option was to shoot in hdr and it looks very lifelike yes it's a little bit more saturated but that's the way i wanted to have the feel of this image and this gives you an idea of how to edit and blend a HDR image to make it look realistic, not a grunge looking image. So thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, give me a big thumbs up. Enjoy your photography and I'll see you next time.